Hi students, welcome back. Now let's see the next topic in the mobile computing is a mobile computing functions. So what are the main functions? What are the main characteristics? Okay, uh, that we are using the mobile computing. Why we are using the mobile computing and what are the main characteristics? Let's see the characteristics. The first one is, it is a user mobility. The mobile computing is a user mobility. We call it as a user mobility. Why we are calling it as a user mobility? Here, the user data is going to move from one physical location to the another physical location and uses the same service. Okay. So, it, the, here the user is using the same service and he is moving from one place to the another place. So, I am the user. I am using the mobile. Okay. My uh, mobile is a uh, having the mobile computing means it is having a, a hardware and the software which is having the mobility feature that it can move from one physical location to another physical location and uses the same service so the service could be uh, in hardware network or the remote network okay so what do it mean and the next function in the mobile computing is the network mobility network mobility so the mobile computing is a network mobility means from one country to another country it is having the feature like it is having the mobility like it uh, you can uh, receive the data voice video calls whatever it may be from one country to another country so because of the network mobility you are accessing your mobile devices in other countries also Okay, so that is another function in mobile computing. Next, bearer mobility. The mobile computing is a bearer mobility. What is what it mean? What is this bearer mobility? Here, used uh, user should be moved from one bearer to another bearer and use the same services. Uh, it's nothing but you can call it as a service providers. Okay, the bearer mobility is nothing but a service providers. Okay, suppose if you want to move from uh, like uh, Hyderabad to, let's take, you're moving from Hyderabad to, uh, let's take Delhi. Okay, you're moving from Hyderabad to Delhi. Uh, your mobile having, suppose if you're at home, you're having the uh, wireless application protocol in his home network. In your home network, you're having the wireless application protocol. And whereas in the Delhi, the WAP will not support the protocol will not support so a uh, voice or sms bearer to access the same application even though wireless application uh, that protocol is not supported voice or sms bearer to access same application Okay, so that is a, a barrel mobility. And the next function of mobile computing is it is a device mobility. It is having a device mobility. So what is this device mobility? Your uh, mobile is a device mobility. It means the same and whatever the networking network you are using that it's uh, supporting the device mobility. Suppose if you take the sales representative. Okay, the sales representative when they are in their office, what they will do? They will use their desktop computer. Suppose those sales uh, representative come outside from the office, what they will do? They will have to roam around the streets. Okay, they have to move from one uh, roam from one street to another street. Okay, at that time they can't use their desktop computers, so they use the palm top instead of the desktop. They will use the palm top. But the login, everything will be the same. That is a device mobility. Your device is working as a desktop computer when you are working in the office. When you came out, your it will working as at another device. So this mobile computing is having the feature like device mobility. And the next thing, uh, session mobility. Session mobility. So, the mobile computing is having the function like session mobility. So, what the session mobility will uh, do? A user session should be able to move from one user agent environment to the another user environment. 
so let me take let, let us take the example of cdma uh, network if you are having the cdma network so the cdma i'll explain later but this is one of the network the cdma is one of the network the network continues if it gets disconnected due to some reasons and again restarted okay if the session is expired the cdma network will continues continues okay and it gets disconnected due to some reasons and again it restart i mean the session is uh, if the session is still present the cdma network continues even if it gets disconnected due to some reasons and again it will be restarted so that is your mobile is having mobile computer is, is having the session mobility feature and next uh, the sixth one is the agent mobility the mobile computing is having the agent mobility feature uh, characteristics or the function means the user agent or the application should be able to move from one uh, mode to another mode the agent mobility you are moving from uh, one mode of uh, configuration to the another mode okay and the last one is uh, the mobile computing function is a host mobility so the function the mobile computing is having the function like host mobility so what this host mobility will do uh, suppose your device uh, the user device can be either a client or a server let's take mine so mine like uh, it is a client or server mobile okay so when it is a server suppose whenever my mobile is acting as a server some of the complexities change uh, some of the complexities are changes uh, changing so in case of host mobility the mobile ip needs to be taken care of okay so when your mobile is acting uh, as a host you have to be uh, careful that your mobile ip should be uh, secret okay so the host mobility is going to be kept those type of information secure so these are the different functions of the mobile computing the mobile computing is uh, having the function like user mobility network mobility bearer mobility device mobility session mobility agent mobility and the host mobility thank you